Are we recording? I hope so. Let's try something different today. Hey guys. Uh, it's me, John. AKA Turf, AKA Haru online, AKA Trigon Quan on Crunchyroll. Just wanted to kind of update life in general. I know everyone's having a, maybe a rough time. Please stay indoors. First of all, I just want to advise that, just like our, just like the, the authorities and and some governments who are getting it right, just stay indoors. Now I know that's difficult. For me, it hasn't been as difficult. I've been in, I've been doing okay. I'm feeling today better than most days. Most days, as I've said in my written updates on social media, on Facebook or elsewhere, that. I'm still waiting for, I'm on a liver, uh, list, uh, list for do, uh, donors to don't that if someone passes away to replace my liver and have the surgery that could happen at any time. Um, I've been giving different updates. Uh, I'll give more of those type of details in written updates. This is more just the, first of all, I'll say I am still okay. See? Hey guys, because I've always had times where I've disappeared, even for a few days, and then my friends say, oh, where have you been? I just haven't been around. Stuff comes up. Stuff changes. But especially now, um, I stay mostly at home because um, with the liver I have right now, it causes excess water issues. So with my stomach and my legs and occasionally at night my back uh fill excess water because the water has nowhere to go in and it the kidneys are already full the liver obviously is not working it can't clear through the bile particularly what i'm told is ammonia is a problem and if it doesn't clear out if i don't take my medication um it goes it becomes ammonia and goes straight to your brain and that can affect me um, I've gone to hospital in the first, uh, last week of February and the first week of March, in fact, I was over there in the hospital, uh, and it was tough, I'll, I'll admit that. You have to stay overnight, they want to make sure you're okay, I, I was fine, cleared, no infections, no issues, but I do think I got a bit worse, um, because the immune system's also down. Now, luckily, it's not coronavirus. I'll tell you that right now. It's not even the flu. They checked all the conditions for flu and coronavirus. They do different tests in the hospital. And I was doing these, luckily, before we got into things like states of emergencies, uh, where it's much more dire to get out. Uh, in Canada, we have our health care. It does well. You do have to wait. Most of the majority of the stuff I meet are really good. They've been very patient with me. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I'm gonna sip. That's what I mean. I am currently in and out of. Sometimes I feel extra drained. Because of all the excess energy that's used into my body to keep, to keep as uh, best as I can. As you can tell, I'm a bit cough. But we found out it's not a flu cough. It's the phlegm and the water <coughs> stuck in my throat. And it causes that cough. I've had that cough since uh, Friday. I'm looking at my calendar. Um, the 13th after I came home from a Toronto visit. That was horrible, unfortunately. I had uh, just the week before, like I said, been in the hospital, had a night over. And I still already had to go do a uh, Monday ultrasound, Tuesday foot doctor, Tuesday family doctor meeting, and a Wednesday mandatory meeting with my surgeon. Uh, who was kind of sleepy, I'll tell you honestly. When he met me, he seemed nice, but he was very sleepy, so the information was kind of sketchy. So, as far as I know, I got some details, got some um, updates. I have to go back. Uh, originally, the plan was that I'd go back in April, but the thing is, uh, of course, now with uh, 
states of emergencies in Toronto where the hospital is or where I would be going. Um, my, my next one is supposed to be the 9th. And it's going to be real touch and go what's happening if they delay any trips, if I can even get into the city. So uh, check my written updates again on Facebook uh, for that. Or if you happen to see me online when I can be online. But today is not about that. That's just the update uh, why I've been in the house since then. That's been practically... We're getting close to two weeks I've been isolated anyways. And I'll probably continue to for that. So probably at least three weeks, four weeks in here. <coughs> I haven't been able to get outside. The cops have been keeping me in. I don't even play Pokemon Go at the moment. Um, unless it's in the house. And honestly, if you play Pokemon Go, don't go raiding. First tip. Don't go, if you're playing one of those walking games, like there's a Harry Potter one, I believe. There's Pokemon Go. Great for exercise. I still love them. Helps my physio. Right now is not the right time. It's still very cold, so it's bad for me and my immune system. I took time off in the winter for that reason. And on top of that, it's just stay at home. You don't want to run the risk. You don't want to put other people at risk. It's easy to get these droplets in some ways. Um, they're now saying in some studies that the droplets can stay on surfaces for up to three days. That's kind of scary. That means um, you can even press an elevator button that'll just happen to be pressed by someone who has coronavirus or who just happened to have the flu or just something else and you're infected. I even saw the news suggesting, hey, bring a pen. Poke all those buttons for your elevators or wear gloves or wipe down your phone every time. I haven't had to do that, luckily, because I'm in here. Haven't gone outside at all. Honest to gosh. So, I'm here today to kind of help out my own way. Um, Obviously, most of my money, as you can tell from my update, my health update, is going towards getting ready for hospital trips. Um, the eventual post rehab, um, because mom's going to be in, uh, there with me. Um, she'll need some help. And also if I ever need anything, once I awaken from it, once I, uh, start recovering, need to save up and just basic needs every day. We are only basic needs now. Um, mom will go out and get, <coughs> excuse me. We'll go out and get our gro just groceries or any medical needs that uh, they call us for. Um, and the occasional papers like uh, an update for my health card. Other than that, no one goes out. So, we're being try to be as very careful as possible. So for me, I got to stay in. I got way too many factors. So why not offer, what am I doing then? Trying to keep it affordable, trying to keep it indoors, to keep myself occupied when I am up. I'm not woozy, I'm not tired, I'm not having a sleep. Trust me, sleep's rough. Sometimes I get one hour, two hours in, sometimes I only get a few minutes in. Depends again on the water, the excess water. So what do I do sometimes? Well, let me show you. I go back to some of my old and, and my current hobbies. So, for example, mangas. Sometimes I'll read uh, my old physical copy. So, this is Neyima, my all-time favorite still. I need to get back onto Crunchyroll and catch up on some chapters. I keep forgetting to go do Yuku Holder, which is the follow-up to this series. So, I should gotta get back to that. It's, it's free. I got a subscription, though. So, I should try to get to that if I ever get... A chance to read a few chapters in a row. One Punch Man. I prefer the manga. I didn't really watch the anime. Didn't really like the anime. Um, the second season. But uh, manga still reads just fine. Uh, I also read Boruto. Honest to gosh. Give it a try. If you read Naruto or not. It's a good series. 
Uh, those would be my manga recommendations. Oh, okay, so we've had about 10 minutes. I don't want to keep this going too long. Gotta try to keep a little more brief. So let's see some of my other hobbies here. Let's go to my uh, collector card games, which I do still keep updated every so often. My current favorite runs is the Pokemon series because uh, they came out. Excuse me, I'll just put this down for a second. Yeah, I'm still filming. I have two current decks going pretty regularly. So if I can get this lighting to work. The first deck I, I'm running is one that was pre uh, Shield and Sword because Shield and Sword just came out. So I've always been working on this deck quite a bit. It's a psychic and fighting deck rotating around, of course, my calling card. Not Haunter, actually. Gengar. And just to give an idea, I have things like Wobbuffets, Latios, Tapu Le, Mimikyus, Mewtwo's. I also had um, Dunsparce as a nice tech card that's still legal. Uh, Minior. Like, these were mostly legal. In the last few sets, so they'd be, uh, I can't remember what the term is, unlimited or something like that. They wouldn't be tournament, the current tournament run, but they're still just fine to play. Um, if I were running to uh, people's kids, uh, we have neighbors. See, it's got cool. I think that's one of the last really cool older cards I got, which is a uh, Garchomp Giratina tag team. Which sounds awesome. And just fit my deck perfectly. And then just some of the I can try to keep track of which trainers. That's always the trickiest thing. Trainer cards rotating in and out. So I try not to um, lose those. And then energy cards. Because what happens is I got a lot of older supply stuff. As you can see, like over there. And inside my closet, I have quite a bit. So, we have a lot of kids in the area. They don't have the chance to buy the cars or keep up the speed. They just want to play the game. And I'm cool with that. I've always been a, uh, a gym leader. When I was working as one. That would give away things to kids. And their parents were quite happy when I did. So, I give them to family friends. I sometimes will give them to random strangers if they like a certain Pokemon, like a Pikachu, Mewtwo have been very popular for at being asked for. Now I'm going to put my thing down again. I'm still filming. Sorry, I got to do this one at a time. Unfortunately, my, um, the other problem I have is my arm. The left arm, the screws are coming out again, but I can't, due to coronavirus, my surgery for that is not a necessity. It's, uh, Sort of like a secondary surgery, I guess. I can't remember the term off the top of my head that they used on the television. So, it's not urgent. So, I'm still a one-armed man until I can get in. And on top of that, I got to do it when uh, I don't have an appointment for the liver. So, it's kind of catch-22. This is the cool thing that I've been working on lately. Sword and Shield. I was able to... Uh, the last time I was able to go out, we were doing grocery shopping. I did go to some card stores, like Conspiracy and, uh, such stores. And I bought myself, and mom, let me, during my birthday, buy some cards. So I decided, hey, Sword and Show just came out. I was lucky enough to get some stuff. So I got, like, a starter, one of the starters. So I decided to stick to the one I'm playing in the video games, which is Inteleon, uh, so Sopo, uh, and you can see here Chew Till is in there, and I was like, okay, what else did I pull? Because I bought the boosters, I bought the those special trainer packs, you can see they're for Forbidden, those are really useful, I can definitely tell you. Uh, once we're able to go shopping again, once you're allowed to go shopping, or even if, say, uh, 
you just happen to have a grocery store that sells it or say a Walmart and you see it there, go ahead and buy it. It's worth it. I, I went to see, look at that, cool, eh? Snorlax. Um, I was able to make this uh, water. See, Drizzle, that was the other guy. Steel Deck. So I got some other things here, like uh, the Buy Sharps. It's not too bad a deck, I think. It's workable if I'm working just short Sword and Shield. So this deck is definitely up to speed, including some of the new trainers and some of the old ones. So there's newer ones, that, like the renamed Professor Research, which is uh, the same old discard and discard your hand draw seven. You can only have one type. So... It used to be the first version ever called was Professor Oak, but now it's called Professor's Research uh, in name of uh, the current game. You can get some new cards. Here's one of my favorite gals in the game, other than Bia, which is odd because I didn't get Sword, but I saw her in the new Twilight Wings anime, which is online. Watch it on YouTube once a month. The third episode's out. The second episode focuses on B. I haven't focused on her yet. I'm hoping they're going to focus on her soon. Marnie. I really like her story. I'm still playing the game when I got a chance. So I'm a little behind. So I'm not exactly finished. Um, my, I did the work on my Pokedex. Leveling up my guys. Making some teams to play online. See, it's all indoors. I got my subscription. I paid for it. my subscription already. I thought it was worth it. So you can see that that's the Sword and Shield stuff. It's not bad. If you play just Sword and Shield, or maybe because for your kids that they're playing tournaments, I would highly suggest those. Now, just so it doesn't feel totally left out, I'll put those aside. Probably wondering about my other hobbies, my other collector card games. For Magic right now, the big thing I've been working on... I'm just uh, getting the deck out. It's hard to do one hand at a time. Okay, I'll pull out just some of this deck. This deck is huge. I've been working on my new commander deck. So there's my commander. My leader that I can keep calling in. Okay, so hopefully... Man, lighting. I don't know how editors get to do this with the, with the lighting. My focus is horrible. Her name is Jaya Bayard Taskmat. Mage didn't cost me a lot. Bought her a while ago. She has to deal with uh, damage. So she can destroy target blue permanents. She can deal three damage to a player or creature uh, that can't be regenerated. Um, for discarding a card, you can also discard a card and tap some mana too to deal 6 damage. Same effects. And all the other cards in this deck deal with do direct damage, just for fun. Um, so I have one of each type, because that's what the rules say. So I have everything from something like, say, uh, Nevenis Disc. Ne re Disc. 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 Uh, enters tap, it can destroy artifacts. Get rid of things I don't like. Um, I got a Star Storm, an old card I just have to own. To get out of another deck. Does X damage for each creature. It has cycling, so you can get you can just cycle it back to get draw a card. Good old shower of coals. Does two damage to each to up to three target creatures and or players. Blazing Salvo, three damage to target creature unless that creature's unless that controller takes not, uh, five damage to keep it. Like there's all sorts of little tricks with this deck. That's kind of one I tinker with. If I buy Magic, if I see it on sale, or like if I see any red cards, I'll put that back just so I can put the deck back. <sighs> Man, with one hand, this is tough. This video has come longer just because it takes me extra time with just the one hand. 
I'll get the final game out. Yu-Gi-Oh! is a little more flexible. It just has a ban list, so as long as I keep within the ban list, that's why I run. I'm still running good old uh, Mako Tsunami, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridged. I made my Legendary Ocean deck. So I run, obviously, the, de the, the Ocean. This current version that I last played with, uh, deal with the Mermails. Which is kind of fun, they, kind of, they got great synergy together. Uh, I'd have to recheck again if I since I have time now see if the how much of the uh, Ban list has changed for example is right Gecky back on it or not last time I checked Red Gecky was uh, Taken off the list tornado wall great card to Spun to prevent damage when the oceans there Mori agreed let's draw cards and cycle um, good old mirror force, old school mirror force. I got kind of inspired to show this one in particular because, you know, uh, my friends, Mike and Christian at uh, Let's Play, go look for them on YouTube, on uh, YouTube, under the, uh, Let's Play. They just recently watched the Capsule Monsters, which I do know of. I watched the full TV version when it was on TV. Plus, I own the uh, French manga. I'm not going to try to go find the French manga. It's somewhere deep in my in my excess bags of, of, of storage stuff. So, I actually have the manga, the French manga that I got from France many moons ago of that one. Nothing to do with card games. It's just really weird, weird series with summons that it might as well be Pokemon. And this deck has some old school stuff like Mobius the Mega Monarch to destroy things. Uh, Warrior of Atlantis is always a good classic to go get the uh, ocean instead of having to play, say, um, cards that uh, search just for terrains. He's a monster as well. Do little things like seven tools to stop traps. I'm always very for, uh, I like to keep part versatile. Part I like to use, see, I like to use old things like Divine Dragon Aqua Bazaar, where you can once per turn tribute uh, one other water monster. And this guy lets you select one continuous or field spell in your graveyard to return to your deck. So if someone makes you lose your ocean, voila, you can get him back with this guy. Got Pelias Ranka. How about remember this from the old show? If you, especially if you watch the cartoon, it's a penguin. So not a penguin because I'm a penguin. All face up water monsters you control gain attack. Uh, two hundred attack, and when you flipped over, you target one card or your opponent's return to hand. So that's another theme that I kept in this deck, even though it's a uh, uh, mermails. Uh. Yeah, and I even, this is one of the few I actually keep a side deck and also a extra deck. So I caught some really nice stuff over the last little while. Things like Murma, Abitrite, Shark Caesar. Um, I threw in some of the older ones that first came out when this mechanic came out, like Granosaur, uh, the Dijins. It's like, hey, why not? There's, I need spots. Nightmare Shark, which is fun. Abyss Dweller. Uh, Silent Hort. Honor Arc. Mermaid. I'm not going to read all of these because they're long. I do keep one. Uh, Dwellin Tiger King because he's just so nice. For him, I will read. He needs a tuner, uh, which I do have in, the, in this deck. And Water Monsters. Once a turn, you can return any number of face-up cards you control to your owner's hand. For each card, return to your owner's hand. And by this effect, this card gains 500 points until the end phase. So he's a great boost thing. I even added the new stuff. So I have Mr. Boy. He's a water. As long as he's water. All water monsters on the field gain 500 attack or defense. Also, uh, fire monsters on the field. Lose 200, uh, 400 attack and defense. So he's kind of like 
the old uh, spell that was Legendary Ocean. Umi, he's like Umi, as a monster. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, uh, I can target one mon water monster in my G. Wah. Add it to my hand. So he even gets back monster. He's awesome. Okay, we're going to put that, the cards away for now. Give me a second. Oh god, with one hand. I'm gonna try to do some things now where I'm not so stressful with using one hand. Cause next I'll show you video games. I don't have a PS4 or an Xbox, whatever. Um it's on. I definitely don't have what is it called? Stadia? What is that thing? Or VR set. Um I got for one of my gifts, I believe. Christmas One of the Christmases recently I got a switch. I'll show you the switch in a minute You can find you can play old games that you have Smash is still a game I play I still purchase digitally the uh, downloadable characters. I really enjoyed uh, playing as Joker uh, From the persona series because my friends into persona <coughs> For me me personally, sorry. Have to take a sip. That's the gag reflex mixed in with the water in the lung situation. So, talking, I this is the most I've talked in a long while, but honestly, it's good uh, therapy for me, even if I'm just talking to you guys. So, I, uh, the guy I like is Terry Bogart, of course, being a big fighting game fan he's gr he's a fun fun character you can find stuff in discount bins when you're able to go shopping again when it is okay to go shopping again or if you're at one of those uh, stores that uh, are okay to buy again Walmart is an example I'm gonna use or just a similar store where they sell all sorts of things look in the bins I got this two for one for maybe ten bucks Wheel of Fortune Jeopardy. I love game shows. I will pull this out so often uh, and just play. I still even watch the game shows on TV every so often, especially Wheel of Fortune. But Jeopardy, I've been watching too because uh, best wishes to Alex Trebek. I want him to keep safe with his condition right now. He's fighting a good fight. And of course, uh, when I did buy something, for, I asked to buy something for myself. This was the game of choice. Pokemon Shield was mine. I continue to play it. So let's go over here. Hey Hinata. You're kind of... This is the first time I think I've seen showing you a lot of my room. In anything. Video, photo. I don't mind. So... There's mine. I decorate mine with stickers. Kana, best girl. From... Uh, uh, Dragon Maids, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, and Ochako. I have some other My Hero Academia stickers. She just happens to be the one on here that fit. See? And some of my fi uh, older figurines. So let's pull this guy out. Let's see what we have here. Yes, by the way, I have an old TV like this. Oops. I don't want to get it copyrighted. So I do have an old TV that I keep here to watch and use with my laptop. Yep, that's Chi over there. And that's Totoro. Over here. So I kind of keep my own decoration. I cleaned up a bit of late. I keep some decorations up here. I've been rotating again. So let's go over... If, oh my gosh, I hope the glare is not going to be that bad. So there's Monopoly. I bought digitally. That's a fun game. Uh, so if you're looking at it for other digital games, if you're a Switch player like me, here's some I can recommend. Uh, for free, Super Kirby Clash. Um, you can download for free. So hey, free is good. Same with Tetris 99 as long as you have the internet. Uh, I play that quite often. 
There's Shield. Uh, I did decide to buy Pokemon Home. It's a godsend for uh, moving characters around, getting uh, what I need this time. Because it was always hard to rely on random trades when you don't know everyone and waiting for people to trade with. So I'm using this. There's the Wonder Box, which is random trades, and a GTS system, which you can specifically ask for a Pokemon. So far, that's worked very well. So you do part of it on the Switch, and you do part of it, say, on the phone. So I do part of it on my phone, which I can't show you because it's filming, obviously. Uh, this one is uh, my good friend Xavier Woods. Remember, his channel is up, up, down, down online. Uh, go check him out for gaming. Uh, he always suggested Windjammers. So I finally got it, and wow, it's fun. It was cheap. It's under $10, I think, give or take. I think I got it on one of the sales. It is worth it. It is fun. It's just a, it's like volleyball, dodgeball, uh, frisbee, all into one. And it's so active. It's You can play a game real fast. It's, it's you can play online. It's great. Catan, that was one of my choices because I'm a Settlers of Catan fan. So I bought the Catan uh, downloaded game. Again, very fun. You can play it by yourself. You can play with others uh, in multiplayer mode. You can do all, uh, you can play a game. It will say automatic save at the last place you rolled your die and then you can come back to it. That and Monopoly you can do all the time. I like the auto save on those. I got this, the Capcom beat em up bundle on sale. I think it was $15. And honestly, there's some beat em ups I never played. Like, obviously, I played Final Fight. Great little game. But it had things like Captain Commando, which I got to actually try a trial, and a few other fighting games uh, included on it. I got Disgaea 5 uh, because I'm a big Disgaea fan. That one I got get to play into more. I haven't played enough. Um, I only just started a new file. I gotta get in a bit more. I am more into just into the uh, uh, first games cast, but I'm gonna give this one a try. It still plays like it did. Good R JRPG. Uh, to here's an underrated one that some people should consider. Toe Jam and Earl. Uh, uh, back in the group. If you ever owned a Genesis, uh, there was a uh, Toe Jam and Earl, the first one. It's an explore game, very unique, uh, very funny, very inside trippy jokes. Uh, they remade it, so now there's four characters. You can play online, you can play locally, you can play by yourself. You choose the new characters, older, ver older versions of the characters. It's great, like, for cheap. And it wasn't that much. It was again in the 10-15 range. Well worth it. I also bought uh, Trivia Pursuit Live. Because I like my trivia games. Uh, relatively cheap. You can play a game. Uh, a game can last 15 to half an hour. 15 minutes to half an hour. Uh, whenever you're bored for just a trivia game. Just whip that out. I bought this one on a recommendation I heard from uh, Sportsnet and their video game channel uh, on YouTube. Uh, it's called Super Blood Hockey, and it's got it was Got Game. That was the channel. I don't know if they still have that show anymore. But Got Game was talking to the creators of Super Blood Hockey, I believe, are Canadians, and they made just this really cool um, eight bit style game. Really violent, uh, very hard. Trust me, you can't do the usual scoring tricks you could do in NHL 93 or Blades of Steel or anything even today, like the NHL games. It is a game to itself. You can actually injure guys, so they're gone for a long time, and that's you're encouraged to do that, which is hilarious. You don't get penalties. You actually um, are encouraged to knock out people. It's got it's got a weird, morbid, comedic take to it. I swear, the coach looks like Gabby. It looks like Bruce Brudo that you play as. And he has to give his kidney up to get his team started. Okay, so there's my friend list. I just want to see. 
Ah, oh, Jesus, can you? Okay, I'm just going to read it off. Because that's my avatar. I'm, I changed my name to Haru underscore JK Lee as one word. Uh, just so people can recognize in case I add them. That's me. So that's me. Uh, my friend code is SW-234. No, 2364 dash seven two four three dash three two three six hey just add me even if it's just as a friend or if you want to add me also as uh one of the games i had mentioned i haven't played animal crossing yet is it any good leave me a comment i honestly never played any of them because i obviously i didn't have i didn't have the wii u i didn't have any of the games it was just one that happened to miss me I'm wondering, is it like The Sims? Is it like, I like kind of off the, if you notice, I I like off the road type of games. So you give me a, re a suggestion on that. If there's any other Switch games I should get to buy downloaded, uh, let me know. And if I save them some money, I will try to, because I can always buy the cards, the disc, the cash cards, because I don't own a credit card. I can own, I can buy the cash cards though. At uh, Portino's or Shoppers, just in small denominations of twenty. Like, give me if you got a game that you you can suggest that's like in the twenty dollars and under range that I should try. Uh, I'll take a look. It could be something I like. I don't mind adding. I just got a new memory card before the whole state of emergency thing happened, and Staples was still open. And I got it from uh, via some uh. Someone who was able to buy me the memory card. Uh, so, yeah, give me, give me that. Uh, please give me a shout out for that. Uh, I am more than welcome to try something new, something off the beaten path. Uh, whether it be a trivia game, a sports game, a fighting game, um, a beat em up, an RPG. I'm kind of all over the place. Look, I'm just going to turn off my switch. Let's wrap this up. Oh my goodness. I didn't think it'd take me this long. I was hoping this would be just at most a 20, 30 minute video. 37 because we're good one arm and one not so great lover is tricky. So when I do need to rest, so I'm not always online. When I am cool, you can leave me. A, uh, don't leave me so much a Facebook messenger message, please. I don't have it on this phone because I like to be left alone. When I'm on the phone and also I find that it's just too much extra things on my to put on my phone so I only use messenger at home on the laptop uh, the best ways to get me are either leave a reply on one of my um, posts in my profile on my Facebook uh, I'm on the discord for d20 live look them up they have a YouTube and a twitch uh, you can look for me there uh, I am oh also, occasionally on, oh, the Crunchyroll website. Um, other things that I do, anime. I'm catching up on some anime. Or watching the series I'm currently watching. Like uh, Baruto. Like right now, going into the new, um, this season, keep an eye out. Keep your hands up. I -Z -Ken, e -I -Z -O -U -K -E -N, E-I-Z-O-U-K-E-N is maybe the best new show I've seen in ages. Uh, it's only about 12, 13 episodes. Just finished uh, last Sunday. Uh, if you're into Studio Ghibli, uh, homages, how people do artwork, different type of thinking, a great cast. Uh, Saika's the best. Um, like, it's just... I haven't had so much joy in a series every week in a long time that wasn't off the beaten path again. That's my current running game of the year for 2020. My current TV show, I got back into Star Trek. It's been a long time. I'm kind of selective with Star Trek, Star Wars stuff. But uh, Star Trek Picard has just won me over since episode one. It's got a nice mix of older stuff and newer stuff. Um, I love always Patrick Stewart, but you got Jerry Ryan, who's, um, a decent part of it. You've got, uh, Returns of Troy and Riker. 
Uh, Data, of course, is in it quite a bit. Brent Spiner. But you also got a great new cast uh, that you want to uh, give a look. His new crew. I won't say much more. I don't want to spoil it. Uh, I've been watching it uh, just like regular TV. I know there's streamings and that. But again, I'm keeping things on the on the cheap. And I actually still enjoy watching a show weekly on a television. So, uh, I've been watching it on what used to be Space. It's now called CTV Sci-Fi. Um, it is... Uh, 9 p.m. Eastern uh, on that channel. They show a new episode every week. Uh, this week is the finale. I've been so pumped for this. The previous episode was shocking and awesome. And oh my goodness. Um, I want to see how this come, this ends up. You can see my wall decorations. I've been doing some decorating every so often. Again, keep it on the cheap. Some of these are just were old things I got from convention. Photos like Cosplay for a Cure. An old anime note poster signed. Um, I believe that's Brian Drummond. When he was voicing Vegeta. Uh, the Golden Goal. See how faded that is. Jesus. Do our, uh, a poster for Naruto. Some of my older posters. Bleach. Bleach is coming back. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Um, Sailor Moon. Some random Quake thing that was given. Kopi time. I also like fan arts. So you can see there. There's some uh, Moogles. There's my favorite Gahinata. There's uh, or one of. Shizune is my other favorite from the show. There's Baby o uh, Oga. Beezlebub, uh, there's, uh, let's see here, No More Heroes, there's another game if you can find cheap, um, get it, it's a fun, fun, silly game, nerdy as heck, Pokemon posters, Nin uh, Sailor Moon, more, more Naruto, Haikyuu, Haikyuu I've been watching, right now, um, my current, uh, ongoing season into the spring, Haikyuu, uh, Boruto and Black Clover. Give Black Clover another look. Uh, I know that it got overhyped in the beginning. I kept with it. And honest to God, it was worth keeping with it. The current arc is much more balanced. They really were able to, once they got past being just a hype show, just being a good shonen series, I really liked it. Uh, I will also get back. Uh, two shows that I am into. I'll go over to this side. Some local posters. Let's see here. Where are they? There they are from another art I bought. Food Wars. Megumi, my baby girl. From that series is there. Uh, that series has another season coming up. I believe the manga's done. So it's just the anime You're going to now try to uh, finish up. And also. Uh, I'm there's one I recommend. It's called Ascendance of a Bookworm. I saw season one. It was in um, the fall season last year, late last season. Really didn't know what to expect. It is a good uh, show that uses the isekoi um, genre, which has been overdone, but does it in a smart way. Go ahead, give it a look. It um, doesn't even need that much violence. It's... That and uh, when I was reincarnated as a slime are two series. If you're tired of the isekai or you still want to see an isekai series um, about going into a fantasy world, try those two. And I think you'll find at least the ones that are good to watch. Not everything has to be the generic ones that are spit out for us a, a genre. And that always happens. So I'm always looking for animes. They'll be off the beaten road again. <coughs> Excuse me. Go try to finish this up before it hits uh, 50 minutes. I hope this little update of video uh, helped you get some ideas for things to do. Or at least be entertaining. Update on myself. As I wait for my liver. 
try to keep positive. I thank everyone who's given me best wishes. Uh, most of all. Uh, I love you all. Keep loving everyone. Keep safe. Stay in. You'll find things. I just showed you a whole bunch of things. You can get on the uh, very affordably. That you might have. Or that you can get. Uh, watch YouTube videos. Of other kinds. I recommend a few sites. Uh, I, I watch all sorts of stuff. Everything from last week to tonight. Once it releases. About two weeks after a region block. To some Colbert videos. I watch uh, Being the Elite. For my wrestling stuff. Oh, wrestling. I have been watching on TV. Whether you, whatever your feelings are about wrestlers. And how their industry should be fully closed. They are running for now. Or they're showing older stuff. So yeah, WWE's there. But for once, they're finally... I guess... String here or something. At least historically, it's going to be something else to see. What they're doing with this two-night show... Being filmed, no crowd, a card that's still being pieced together for like what match is going to be what night on Saturday and Sunday in April, uh, first week of April. Um, AEW, I'm going to watch that tomorrow, that's on tomorrow night. I'm going to watch a full episode live, I've been watching just clips because uh, the TSN that I get didn't have it originally, so they're actually going to show it because there isn't anything on. So I'm going to try to watch a full episode, give a maybe a thought on my uh, Facebook about it. <coughs> I also catch episodes of ROH. I even caught an episode of Impact. They've improved. And it's nice because I've met Ethan Page and uh, from uh, 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 what was it? Alpha One Wrestling. And he's a real nice guy. He's been Really nice one. I've been to his shows. I've been to two of them. Um, a bit ago. Long ago. Because before I got really bad. Where my condition really stunted me from going anywhere. Met old friends like Shane Saber. Met old... Uh, met guys I know that I've known for a long time on the industry. When I was a booker. Or just a fan. Or a reporter. Like uh, Steve Brown. Rip Impact. K hey, Rip. Uh, who, who who runs uh, Hamilton Pro Wrestling? Look them up. I happened to see them even online on channel Cable 14 last night at random. They had a half hour show at I think it was like a one thirty. I was just bored. I just happened upon it. I watched it and I was watching them. There was like Steve Brown on it. Uh, uh, Arrow Tyler, I believe his name is. He's kind of fun. Um, Corey Stone, who fought my friend, uh, Mike Forte, gives them a look. They, they, there are some talents I can definitely recommend. Um, there's some more on the, on the posters there from other feds. Um, like my god, Lupisto. Uh, so yeah, there's something for everyone. I'm trying to recommend something for everyone. Reading, re Writing like I'm doing, um, just doing videos, like, I even listen to podcasts every so often, from Post Wrestling, uh, they're on YouTube as well, uh, they got their own website and the YouTube version, I listen to the DJ and Dan podcast, who post sometimes up, they're on hiatus right now, but they post also a version on podcatchers and on, t on YouTube as well. I don't know what else I can recommend you. Just find something for yourself. You'll be fine. You can be indoors for a little while. There are people you don't want to put at risk. There are people who don't even know how they'll get the disease. Don't make it easier for them to get that disease. Even if you feel that you're going to be invincible. You're not. And even if you're, you you seem to not get it, you're lucky enough not to get the viruses, you could give it to someone else. And that, that I find is also a huge shame, whether it's a child, um, an, an older uh, adult, could be a grandparent of someone, or your own, <coughs> someone with 
issues health wise or pre existing conditions like I'm having right now, just stay indoors. You won't lose anything in your life. It's a year. Make a, your use of your year. Make find your hobbies. Do something. So that's all I could say. I just don't I don't want to sound too preachy. I just want to be more a uh, positive for one. Like I try to really keep positive when I don't have the ammonia attacking me or I have a hospital visit and I'm down. I thank you very much for listening in. Don't know if I'll do another video like this, maybe sometime in the future. But instead of my convention videos or other videos I do of these, I hope you enjoyed this. Take care, everyone. All right. Be safe. Love you all.